so my name is Justin. I'm 25 years old from Singapore, and I work in finance. And I'm on like a little nine-day trip uh, backpacking across Iran. Actually, uh, it's a really long story, but back in like 2015, I had a boss at work who told me that she was going to backpack across Iran alone. And she was a female, and I thought that it was rather dangerous for a female to travel across Iran. Iran. So it got me a little curious. So when she came back, she started telling me stories of how Iran was actually super safe. People were ultra friendly, and the architecture was super beautiful. And she encouraged me to like uh, go visit it on my own. But I didn't think about it for like four or five years. And right now, I was actually on the way to work for, for a work trip to London, and I had like ten days to spare. So I thought, why not? I actually heard a lot of positive stuff from my friends who have been to Iran but from friends who have not been to Iran they were like trying to warn me you know they said it's not safe uh, it's dangerous but I tried taking the words of people who have been there and it's really different so um, one thing that I would say is different is that you hear certain facts and sites from certain media outlets but what you experience on the ground in Iran is entirely different people are extremely friendly I don't think I've felt as safe in any other city in Europe, US, or even in the Middle East. So I spent my first two days in Tehran. Uh, yesterday, I spent a really memorable night in the Vazani Desert with Ali. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> yeah. Ali, Ali guys. Ali. Yeah. So Ali, Ali was my guide uh, in Vazani last night, and we. We, we went stargazing, it was super beautiful. You could see like different shades of, of the stars in the, in the sky. Amazing. So that was day three for me. I'm spending the next few days in Shiraz before flying off to London. I had a favorite part, easy, super easy, last night. Uh, the night, so yesterday we drove from Esfahan to the Vizani Desert at around like 5 p.m. Yeah, we started at 5. Yeah, we started at 5. We got there at 7, we climbed up the sand dunes and we saw like really beautiful uh, sights. And we came down, we started having dinner, and we built a campfire and we started talking. It was really beautiful stuff. And you could see the night sky, that completely free of light and like traffic pollution, and it was beautiful, it was absolutely gorgeous. I would say, I mean, just just go for it. Uh, initially, when I was planning my trip, I had a little bit of like self doubt whether I would like really enjoy doing this on my own. But to be honest, if you uh, would like some time alone, uh, take the first two to three days acclimatizing to the city. Afterwards, when you're comfortable, you can find a guide to guide you around, and I think you will have a really memorable experience. I, initially, when I was planning my trip, I came across quite a few sites on uh, hiring guides for uh, in Iran. But Tab uh, website came across as one that had great UI UX, uh, easy to understand, simple to use, simple to book, no hassle. Uh, so, which is why I chose to go ahead with Tab version. If you've not been here, forget whatever you have learned from the news, from media outlets, spend like at least 7-8 days, just grab a backpack, copy and check it off for yourself, you will not be disappointed.